Hi there, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. What to expect here for the next five days? <laughs> Rinse and repeat. Hit or miss showers and thunderstorms will be developing here in the afternoon and evening hours. They will likely be slow movers, going to have some locally heavy rain, which could produce some localized flooding. And again, we could see a few of these storms each and every day, perhaps pulse to strong to perhaps even severe limits with damaging wind and large hail looking to be the two main threats. Today, nothing reached severe limits, but we had several very strong thunderstorms producing some heavy rain, lightning, thunder, gusty winds and some small hail. Things are pretty quiet right now. Maybe a few little sprinkles out across Carroll, Floyd and Patrick counties. Otherwise, it is a clean sweep on the radar. We are, however, looking at some fog developing overnight tonight. We could even have maybe a stray shower in West Virginia impact folks say into Highland County. Looks like one shower might be moving out of Highland County. May have one more shower moving in over the next couple of hours or so. All right, here's what's going on in our atmosphere. This guy right here is a front. It's going to kind of be draped over the region again tomorrow, and that will be the catalyst to provide us more in the way of some scattered showers and thunderstorms in conjunction with the heat and humidity around. It's a weak front, but that's all you need to kick off these showers and thunderstorms when you're this hot and when you're this humid out there. And temperatures again will top out in the middle 80s as we head into Friday with that front. Guess what? Still overhead. So that's why we're thinking that the atmosphere is not going to change much over the course of the next uh, probably 48 to maybe even 72 hours. Future tracker showing that overnight could still have a few stray showers every now and again, maybe even a stray shower Thursday morning. But I think we're looking at a better chance for these pop up thunder showers developing right around lunchtime in a few spots. And then the coverage area will expand, get larger as we head into the mid to late afternoon hours. Even into the evening, we will still have the chance for some passing showers and thunderstorms. Much of these will uh, start to really taper off in earnest by the mid to late evening hours. And then some fog will develop tomorrow night. Friday starts again dry with some partly sunny skies. And you guessed it. Passing thunder showers again develop after lunchtime on Friday. As far as how much additional rain we're going to pick up, this is the nature of this atmosphere that we're under right now. Hate to say this, but a tenth of an inch to maybe an upwards of an inch of rain. If you've seen the last couple of days, that's exactly what we're still looking at. There'll be some folks that see little to no rain. There'll be other folks that if you're under a slow moving thunderstorm could pick up one, two inches of rain in a short amount of time. So the amounts of rain that we see region wide will depend on where these storms pop each and every day. And right now we're thinking that they'll probably start in the mountains and then head east as the day progresses. It is 66 right now in Withville, 68 in Blacksburg, 69 in Lexington. It's also 69 in Martinsville. Dew points are elevated. It's very, very muggy out there. Those dew points are in the 60s to lower 70s, and it looks like those dew points are going to stay between 65 and 70. That is on the uncomfortable, if not oppressive level over the course of the next four days or so. Tonight, muggy with fog, lows around, say, 68, 69 degrees. And then for the day tomorrow, highs around 85. We're humid, we're warm with those showers and thunderstorms again developing. Middle 80s Friday and Saturday, mid to upper 80s on Father's Day, 84 Monday and Tuesday, Thursday through Tuesday. Showers and thunderstorms will be around. I do think that uh, the day that we may have to watch out for the highest risk for severe weather will be Monday. Leftover thunder showers Tuesday, maybe a break from rain one week from today. Today we forecast 89 actual high. <laughs> Are you kidding me? 90. $10 in the pot, $400 so far raised for Turning Point, yet another one-degree miss.